Hi there, my name is Alain and here at Classy on the Run we love talking about all things beautiful. Today I am so excited to be kicking off a new series here on my channel. This new series called Beyond Beauty, we go beyond makeup and I'm sharing with you all of my tips and tricks to have a more polished and elegant life. These tips are meant to help elevate both your personal and professional life. And while this series is targeted at those pursuing a corporate career, I really think that so many of these tips are relevant across industries and across stages of life. So this series is for all women who are interested in living their best and most polished life. Now outside of YouTube, I actually have a full-time corporate career. So many of these are tips that I've found have really helped me in my professional life and they've helped my friends and those who I've mentored and been mentored by as well. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So as mentioned, today I'll be sharing with you 10 easy and affordable ways to look more elegant and polished. Now my first tip is to steam your clothes regularly. My husband and I have two different steamers. We have one large standing steamer that we always have set up in his office. And since he goes into the office every day, whereas I have the opportunity to work from home, he does use it more often than I do right now. But when I'm going into the office and wearing a beautiful dress, I don't want it to be wrinkled or crinkled. I want it to be in its best possible shape. And there's something so luxurious feeling about putting on a freshly steamed blouse, blazer, or dress. I'm going to leave two steamers linked down below. One is our large standing steamer, which I think is a fantastic option if you are someone who's frequently going into the office and frequently steaming your clothes. The second option is a much more affordable hand steamer. And we actually bring this hand steamer with us when we're traveling. I love to have beautiful photos when I'm traveling and I don't want my clothes to be a distraction from it. And so many of the qualities that make this hand steamer so perfect for traveling are also qualities that make it great if you live in a smaller space. With the hand steamer, all you need to do is put your article of clothing on a clothing hanger, hang it up in your shower, and just go to town with the steamer. Be amazed at how quickly you can turn a regular old dress into something that feels absolutely luxurious to wear. My next tip is one that I've been practicing consistently over the last year, and that is to maintain neat nails. And that can mean a lot of different things to different people. My preference is to turn this into me time and visit my favorite nail salon, which is thankfully just a few minutes from my home, and get a shellac manicure. Some of my favorite shades include OPI Let's Be Friends, OPI Bubble Bath, and of course, OPI's Funny Bunny. Of course, you can also do your nail polish at home, in which case all of those shades are available in a regular polish. I also love Essie's Ballet Slippers, which is such a beautiful and iconic polish. Another option is actually to do at-home press-on nails, which I'm wearing today. The nails that I'm wearing today are actually from Kiss, and these are their Bare But Better range. No matter which way you choose to maintain your neat nails, I recommend a neutral polish that flatters your skin tone. I love a neutral polish because it matches your outfit no matter what you're wearing. Sometimes if you go for a vibrant or more patterned nail, it can look fantastic with one outfit but clash in the office. Neutrals go with everything. My next tip is to wear a light fragrance. Now if you work in a scent-free environment, this may not be the tip for you. But if you're able to wear a fragrance, I think there's something so beautiful and polished and feminine about having a beautiful scent. Two of my favorite scents for a lighter scent to wear in the office include J'adore by Dior and Marc Jacob Daisy. Of course, there are many beautiful fragrances out there and I encourage you to find the one that's best for you. I love having a collection of fragrances with a daytime fragrance, an evening sort of daytime fragrance, and something a little bit more fun. My next tip may be a little bit controversial, but ditch the dry shampoo. First of all, every time you use the dry shampoo, it's basically an excuse not to have a shower. And there's nothing polished or beautiful or feminine or elegant about showing up to work smelly. Of course, perfume can maybe hide some of it, but it, it, it can't hide body odor, let's be honest. And two, I find that dry shampoo just really weighs your hair down. It doesn't look glossy and healthy and it looks really matte and just... It just, it doesn't look as good as freshly washed hair. I found that when I used to use dry shampoo, it irritated my scalp, it made my hair itchy, which sometimes I'd be like trying to casually like, I'm not scratching my head right now. I was completely scratching my head. Also, I find that it makes our hair really heavy and it's just, you know what? It is not all it's cracked up to be. Find a little bit more time in your day, have a shower and you will thank yourself. And if it helps you ditch the dry shampoo, Find some heatless hairstyles that work for you. One of my favorite heatless hairstyles I actually do right out from the shower. I just put in some leave-in conditioner, brush my hair back to have a little bit of a center part, and then bring it all behind. It's like that clean girl aesthetic. Wrap my hair around and put it up in a clip. It looks so pretty and polished and professional, and nobody needs to know that it is my lazy girl hack. So my next tip is to elevate your jewelry game. So if you are currently wearing costume jewelry, consider upgrading to gold for May. You can get beautiful pieces from Ana Luisa or Mijeri or many other contemporary brands. Now, if you're currently at that stage, consider upgrading to gold filled or even solid gold pieces. 
Ultimately, gold jewelry doesn't tarnish the way that costume jewelry does. Solid gold jewelry is going to stand the test of time in a way that Vermeer pieces can't. That being said, I think we all understand that everyone is at a different point in their career and a different point in their budget. So wherever you're at, just try to upgrade by one level. I found that when I was in that process of upgrading from costume to gold vermeil, that it was approximately one new piece of gold vermeil jewelry it was about the price of two to three pieces of costume jewelry. So I just waited until I found a piece that I absolutely loved, spent a little bit more, and then I didn't buy two or three pieces to replace those three pieces of costume jewelry. Now that I'm at the point that I'm starting to upgrade my jewelry to solid gold pieces, again, I'm finding about a three to four piece ratio between the price of the gold vermeil pieces that I've typically been buying lately to the solid gold. I think one of the best things about solid gold jewelry is knowing that I'll be able to pass it down to my future children and grandchildren while still enjoying it and wearing it today. But across the board, as we upgrade our jewelry, we're getting higher quality pieces, pieces that will last longer and longer, and pieces that we're really going to cherish. My next tip is to master a relatively simple everyday makeup look. This is a makeup look that you can execute on in 10 to 15 minutes and that you know will make you feel beautiful and confident. I know that when I feel beautiful and confident with what's going on in my face and my general exterior appearance, that I'm better able to tackle my day, take on my meetings, and just really enter my work day with confidence. So I've recently made a video on a elegant 10 to 15 minute makeup routine that I find really works for me and I'm hoping will inspire you to create your own. I'll leave that link down below. It's also in the Beyond Beauty playlist, which is also linked down below. In a similar vein, master a simple everyday hairstyle that you can reliably execute on. I found that my Dyson Airwrap has been an absolute game changer for having that beautiful, polished, everyday, elegant hairstyle that I think we're all looking for. Of course, I wish I had the budget to go and get my hair blown out of the salon a couple times a week, but until that day comes, you can find me and my Dyson Airwrap in my bathroom right over there. Now, as mentioned, I recommend having both a heat and a no heat hairstyle. My no heat hairstyle is incredibly simple. After I wash my hair, I put in my leave-in conditioner, put it in a little bit apart, brush all my hair back so it's slicked against my head, twist it around my finger a couple of times and secure it with a claw clip. Doing that, it looks so modern, very clean girl, very fresh, and no one needs to know that it is the simplest thing in the world. I can do that hairstyle in 45 seconds and be out the door. Now my next tip is to have a regular beauty maintenance routine. I know I've already touched on nails, but there's so much more than that. In addition to nails, it also includes regular hair trims and brow appointments. I find that when my brows are shaped and trimmed and tinted, one, it is so much easier for me to get my makeup done and get out the door, which is very important if we are commuting downtown to work. Also, I just find it makes my entire makeup face look more put together. Similarly, for our hair, we can have the longest, prettiest hair in the world, but if our ends are dead, then the entire look is going to fall flat. I find that with my goal of wanting to grow my hair longer, but still wanting it to look healthy all the way through, that going to the salon every four months gives me the results that I'm looking for. But I would really recommend speaking with your stylist to figure out what the routine for you is. Now your beauty maintenance can go even further to include massages, if that's something that perhaps your benefits cover, facials if that's something that you value, or any other services that help you look and feel your best and that when done consistently, yield beautiful results. And I will say that your regular beauty maintenance routine can really be a part of your self-care. Tip number nine is to say no to revealing clothing. Now, of course, who doesn't want a beautiful, sexy dress if you're going out to dinner on a date, maybe with your husband or with a new date, but when it comes to our clothing at the office, I think it pays to be a little bit more conservative. We have to remember that in the office there are many generations working and I think it's important to think about how people are perceiving us. Now it's not fair, especially as women, that we can be judged for our clothing, but the reality is that we are. It is so important to maintain a certain degree of modesty in the office. For me, when I'm selecting work clothing, I don't really like strapless shirts, and if I am going to wear a strapless shirt or a dress, I definitely have a cardigan or a blazer to go on top, and I really don't like it when it is too low cut. I think that can be particularly uncomfortable if you're in a boardroom meeting, maybe you have to lean over and grab something. That's just not an image that we need our bosses to see. And my final tip, tip number 10, is to be more polite. I promise that when you are polite, generous, and gracious, that you come across as so much more polished and elegant than those who are looking to pick a fight or who are being needlessly aggressive or unkind. Think particularly in an office environment, the way we treat assistants, the way we treat servers at restaurants is really indicative of our character. And I promise that there is no truly elegant person on planet Earth 
who is rude to their server or rude to the administrative assistant. So those are my top 10 easy and affordable tips for being more polished and elegant. I hope that you found this video helpful and if you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe because I'm so excited about this new series I have planned for fall. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Mwah.